Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Purple. So today's video, I'm going to be doing my piercing. I'm going to be cleaning it. Um, I got my piercing done back in, I think it was the beginning of August. So I'll give you a little bit of a story behind it. I got my double eyebrow pierced back in August. Um, I already had a piercing a long time ago that I took out and let it heal um, and then I decided to get it redone again so yeah um, it started healing quite nicely I was doing the saline solution every day like the salt and water every day twice a day sometimes three uh, my nose healed pretty quickly because I got that done the same day that I got a double eyebrow done. Um, so yeah, it healed up a little bit and then suddenly it started looking a little bit infected. Um, I'm actually out of breath right now because I've just come up the stairs and my heart is like pounding so much. So if I'm out of breath, I do apologize. Um, I just wanted to get this video done for you guys and plus I'm overweight as well so that doesn't help um, but anyway so I'm going to wash my hands first before even touching my piercing I'm gonna go and wash my hands I have my salt water and I have some kitchen towel ready and we'll get started so I'm gonna wash my hands okay so my hands are now washed I have a mirror here because I am blind as a bat so I have to have like a magnifying glass mirror <laughs> makes sense purple so this is my solution that I have saline solution salt water my husband um, made a fresh batch I think yesterday so this is yesterday's fresh batch in a bottle um, he usually changes it every two to three days don't want it to stay there for too long so what I do is I take a piece of this apparently kitchen towel or kitchen roll is supposed to be much more better than actual normal tissues because it has like fibers tissues has fibers and you can't use cotton wool or anything like that because they can get into the piercing and apparently cause even more infections so I'm just going to run this underneath the hot water to soak it a little bit so bear with me a sec all right so I've run this underneath the hot water and what I'm now going to do I move my hair out of the way I'm now just going to dab this onto my eyebrow. It's really hot, which is what I want. I'm gonna basically soak it up. I do this first before the salt water because it soaks up any scabs that I have. It softens it up. Then I go in with the salt water. I literally squirt it on, um, give it a good squirt rinse <laughs> you're supposed to just squirt it on the kitchen paper towel thing but i don't sometimes i do sometimes i don't but anyway i'm gonna give this a couple of seconds apparently you're supposed to leave it on for about a minute you can see me sitting here for a minute with like this <laughs> probably not oh i've got some water in my eye just gonna check there oh yeah they are definitely pretty scabbed up I don't know if you guys can see but there are some scabs just around the piercing area it's very white um, so I'm gonna try and soften them up now I don't use this again once I put it down I'm gonna wipe down my hand now I'm going to do with the salt so another kitchen towel, always use fresh kitchen towel when you're doing your piercing. You don't want to use the same one that you've just used because cross contamination, you can pass germs over that way. Yeah, 
So, solution. I think there's a stream one, I think it is. Right. I think it's a stream one. Yeah, it's a stream one. I'm just practicing on here. Now what I do is I get this under my eye. Like so, to cover my eye and I do a good squirt. It does sting quite a bit as well, but um, it is worth it. <laughs> Trust me, it is worth it. Now I'm going to put this one down and get a fresh piece. Even though I have just squirted um, some salt water, I'm going to squirt on the on the this piece as well so I can wipe the area. Sometimes I will run it underneath the warm water and then squirt the solution on. But you know, right. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hold it there a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying that my eyebrow hasn't healed up the same as my nose. Um, I think it's because I sleep on this side, so it tends to get gunky more. Um, I don't think it's an infection. It's just still healing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to give this a wipe. Usually I'll give this another squirt as well, which I think I will. And then I'll go back in with the warm water and then I'll dab it dry. Because all that gunkiness will stick to the dry tissue. So I'll put that one down. And fresh one again. I go, I usually go through about five, six of these. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Right. Let's do this again. Oh yeah, there's a sting. Oh yes. That's what we want. You want a good sting. If it's stinging your piercing, you're doing it right. If it's not stinging, then clearly you're doing it wrong. <laughs> um, I'm just doing that in there. Now I'm going to get ooh, an itchy nose and get another, another piece have it underneath the warm water and this is where I'm going to be really cleaning that area so bear with me a sec that's hot that is hot oh yeah <sighs> got a towel here because I've it's caked in water you can see it running down yeah. so just gonna hold it there Right, and now I'm going to wipe my face a little. Really get this on there clean. I can see so much gunk building on these piercings. It 
it's gross <laughs> right now I'm just gonna darken my side of my face lastly one last dab around that area and we're pretty much done I don't know if you can see any difference hopefully you can can you see any difference I'm gonna clean on the area now I did ask if my husband wants to join me I'm doing a piercing video like cleaning our piercings but um, I think he was a bit shy <laughs> Ugh, I've just seen that gunk build up there. It's disgusting. But this is what you gotta do if you get your piercings done. Also, the other thing is, even once your piercing has healed, don't stop using salt water. Always use the salt water to clean it, even if it's warm water. You know, just give it a clean every now and again because that will help in the future. So, yeah, I'm not a piercer. I'm not a professional piercer. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I have had piercings in the past, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um... I used to have a tongue piercing, and I took it out because I ended up with a lisp. Yes, you heard me. I ended up with a lisp because the tongue bar was like so big. Um, it wasn't like massive big. It was the right size bar for my tongue, but it just caused issues for me to talk. So I took it out. I don't think it was pierced properly either because I've I obviously you still end up with scarring no matter what where you get your piercing. But I think my piercer at the time wasn't concentrating and she got it so close to my nerve um so yeah right that looks pretty clean so i'm gonna stop fiddling about with it now and that is it basically just that now um yeah just my eyebrows are done I normally do a warm water wash with my nose in the morning so I just dab it with some water like I did before with my eyebrow and um, I do the same with my earrings as well and um, I've recently just stretched one earlobe um, because the earring that I bought didn't fit the hole because I got my ears pierced at Claire's accessories when I was about 16 years old with a gun bad move and I've had issues with my ears ever since then so I've just recently changed my earrings from a butterfly back to a labourette is it labourette? labourette labourette I think it's labourette David is it a labourette? labourette labourette <laughs> oh my god I am so dumb <laughs> labourette thank you <laughs> um and I honestly can tell the difference in my ears. It's so much better. So if you're getting your ears pierced for the first time, go to a professional piercer. Make sure they use a hollow needle, not a gun. And make sure that they have elaborate piercings. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know what kind of videos you like or what more videos What more videos what videos you would like to see? Um, I'm actually getting some more piercings done soon So I might try and get the video of that one because I didn't get my nose or my eyebrow pierced um, filmed So I was pretty gutted about that but these piercings that I'm gonna get next 
I think you're going to enjoy it. Anyway, guys, that is it from me, and I'll see you in another video.